Hey everyone, how's it going? What is up? It is me, Win Stucker. And I've been watching this series on Netflix called Stranger Things. And I have to admit, um, it had its boring moments, but it's really cool because it's like a throwback to the 80s because, you know, they, you know, have inspiration from Stephen King in it and Jaws and all this other good stuff in it and it's like wow this is cool I mean it's a Netflix exclusive so it's only on Netflix hopefully they'll release it to DVD it says season one and yes we are gonna get into some spoilers and they did leave it wide open for a season two which I really 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 hope that it does get a season two because the way it ended I was like yeah this show definitely needs a season two the thing that I didn't really like is that it's only eight episodes it's I don't know about 54 55 minutes or so so about an hour an episode eight hours and um I wish it was like Orange is the New Black where it, you know, generally has like 12 or 14 episodes. Yeah, I mean, four more episodes would have been just, I think would have been just right. But it's really good. Basically what it is, is it starts out where the scientist is running down this hall from something. And this something is a monster that you get glimpses of throughout the series. And then... In the last episode, you get to see it in all its glory. I mean, you get to see, like, hints of it. it it's, it's like a really good Stephen King movie where the uh, monster isn't revealed until the end. And then when it is revealed, it's pretty freaking cool. I mean, it's like, wow, you know. And like I was saying at the first... It, this kid that was with his friends playing some D&D, &D, Dungeons and Dragons, uh, left home and they were riding their bicycles home or whatever. And then the kid got spooked by something. And then he, for some reason, well, not for some reason, he's actually scared. And he runs into this shed and grabs a gun and, you know, is thinking that the creature, whatever, would come through the front door. Of course, it sneaks up behind him, and later on in the series, you find out how it does it. And so he disappears. And then the mom, who is Rhino to Ryder, it's like, yeah, um, does this thing with the Christmas lights, where, um, because the son keeps trying to communicate with her with the lights and everything, and she eventually paints the ABCs on the wall so that it can spell out words so that she could actually communicate with her son. And in one episode, he spills out run. And, you know, of course, the monster, you know, tries to attack. And does try to attack a few times at, you know, their house. And near the end of the first episode, they run into the um, this little girl whose name is Eleven. And she has a shaved head and everything. And they don't know much about her. And as the thing progresses... You actually see her powers. Like she's got some um, telepathy, like Professor Xavier or Jean Grey. And um, so it's really cool. And then, you know, as the series goes on, of course, they're trying to figure um, the, the secret government agency is trying to find the little girl. And during all this, you learn, you know, basically what's up. Like, um,. She uh, was put in a um, observation tank and was able to be trans and uh, was sent on a mission, I guess, to uh, I guess take out a, a Russian. I don't know. I just it basically shows her walking up to the Russian and he's talking and it's in this world of blackness and she's looking at him and then all of a sudden something breaks you know her attention to him. And then the dude vanishes, and it's like, oh, cool. So I don't really know exactly the whole deer deal with that, 
because it can kind of just and then um you know they find the girl likes ego waffles and candy and junk food and whatever and um yeah and as it goes on you know you find out you know that this one bully uh she pauses him and makes him pee himself in front of the entire school you know for picking on her friend and it's like wow that would be cool to have a friend like that in high school yeah and um yeah I, I think they did a really good job I mean like I was saying she was in this deprivation tank and she went into this other world and you know she keeps sensing this creature of course like I said they don't really show it into the end and I have to admit it, it, I, I think that they did it like they did like a uh, predator and some other um, uh, creatures from the 80s where it's like a person in a suit and perhaps used a little CG to enhance it all which I you know I think is really cool I don't really know how they do it I'm just assuming that you know it's basically a person in a suit and um you know, with today's um, CG, they enhanced it quite a bit. And, I mean, it was just, it was just really cool. I mean, the way they in, ended it, it, it definitely could have a second season. I mean, if it does, I'd definitely be watching it. Oh, and uh, I really do... I think I might will actually watch it again. I mean, normally when I watch shows like that, I don't usually, you know, watch them a second time. And, like, Orange is the New Black. I watch that, you know, I I watch all the episodes and then watch the new season. And then, you know, that's that for that year. I think I may actually watch this again because I like the sci-fi-ish elements. Because, you know, it definitely got a lot of sci-fi in it with a telepathy and the the um ability to make let people levitate and all that I, I i i'm actually quite impressed with this show and of course renata Ryder renata Ryder actually playing herself as usual kind of makes it really a <laughs> even more awesome and the kids in it did a really awesome job i don't know what their names is i haven't looked it up but it's like yeah i mean it's just really awesome. I mean, I can't... I don't know. I just don't want to give too much away. Because it's like, okay. So, you know, she has these abilities. And she likes Lego Lego waffles. And they're... The entire series, they're looking for their son. Uh, Ryan Oder's writer's son, Will. The entire, uh, you know, thing. Because, you know, he disappears in the very first episode. And... The kids are looking for him, and it kind of reminds me of some, you know, other movies where kids are looking for their friend, or like, um, uh, what is that movie? Uh, Stand By Me, um, with a group of friends go looking, uh, for a body in the woods or whatever, of a kid that disappeared or whatever, because they don't know. And, I mean, it reminds me of so many good 80s, 90s things. I mean, it's it's got some good 80s music in it. I mean, I I mean I definitely enjoyed it. I mean, not only for the music, but I mean everybody just did acting, and it's like, wow. And I don't know how true half the science facts in the movie is. I mean, it could be probably total BS, but I definitely enjoy it. And um, yeah, I I think I will watch it again. Uh, but anyway, I will be watching Orange is the New Black, the latest season that dropped. I know it's been out for a while because I think it dropped last month, uh, the 20th or 21st or something. I haven't seen it yet, um, but I will watch it because I want to watch it. I already know some things that happened because Facebook ruined it for me and all that good stuff. Of course, I'm going to watch it anyway, so it's not like it really ruined it, but from what I've heard from my wife watching it, it sounds kind of boring, and it seems a lot more boring than, you know, what I like, but it's whatever, 
So yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, pound that subscribe button, and uh, let me know what you want me to talk about next, because I plan on doing some more of these reviews, because um, I'm going to do some game reviews, some movie reviews, uh, on uh, Pandora's Crazy 4, Pen uh, I screwed that up, Pandora's Crazy 4 podcast, which is a YouTube channel my friend and I are running, where we talk about music, we talk, we've talked about Five Finger, Be Five Finger Death Punch, which was our first episode, then we talked about, which was about an hour, then we talked about some corn, which was almost two hours, then we talked about some white zombie, which was another hour, and then this week is Rob Zombie, and the podcast start, our video podcast starts at noon, oh yeah, and I'm so excited and pumped up, I've been listening to some white zombie music, you now I'm listening to some Rob Zombie music to, you know, get even more excited about it and I'm gonna go see what else I can find on Netflix and um, I don't I think I saw Cloverfield on there I don't really like that movie but I may watch it again just for shits and giggles I don't know yet because um I don't know maybe I need to find something good and sci-fi-ish because, um, that's kind of what the mood I am in. Not really sci-fi horror, but sci-fi. You know, something good in sci-fi, action sci-fi, maybe. Yeah, that makes it, that would, that works even better. Action sci-fi. But anyway, again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.